I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to the Operation Freedom Health Platform and our ongoing series with one of the top naturopathic physicians in our country and the world, Dr. Peter Glidden. This is a series we have done now for coming up on five years, much to the displeasure of the medical industrial complex. Big pharma, big medicine, big insurance, the AMA. Why? Because this series of presentations empowers you so that you don't have to use the medical industrial complex system. Today, Dr. Glidden and I are going to focus on a guide to your heart health. Very, very important. Always has been important, but it actually has gained even more importance, and we have to be very careful how we say this. But over the past three years, we've seen an exponential rise in heart or cardiac issues. And I am inundated with requests from you, our listeners, about addressing the issue of heart health. And that's what we're going to do today with Dr. Glidden. And for those of you unaware, as I mentioned, Dr. Glidden is one of the top naturopathic physicians in our country and the world. But in addition, he's a fantastic researcher and a fantastic author. His two books should be the cornerstone of your medical library at home. They are in our home. His two books, Everybody is Sick and I Know Why, An Attempt to Cure with Holistic Medicine, both available at his website, Dr. Glidden, G-L-I-D-D-E-N.com, as well as Amazon. And in addition, Dr. Glidden has a new website, Leave Big Pharma Behind. Dot com. Leave Big Pharma. Oh, behind. look at that. See? It's celebration over the new website right there. You have the tech, Dave. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at these special effects. I'm going to call you Spielberg here in a minute. Uh, full disclosure. OperationFreedomHealth.com has a tremendous amount of information, and we also have the products that we discuss in our series. Why? There's no sense giving you the information if you don't know where to get the products that we speak about. And the most cost-effective means with these products is through OperationFreedomHealth.com. And full disclosure, purchase of the products does support this platform. It is my honor to welcome back Dr. Peter Glidden. Pete, welcome back. It's always a pleasure, David. Always a pleasure whittling away at the rock of human suffering because there just aren't that many people that are doing it. No. Because conventional medical doctors might be the nicest people God ever created, but they're trained in disease management. Yep. And, you know, it's sick care, man. It's not health care. Nobody really gets healthier. And life expectancy gets shorter. Chronic disease escalates. Leading cause of bankruptcy yes. in the United States of America medical bills. Mm -hmm. You know, which begs the question, well, who died and made the FDA king? Well, I'll tell you who lived and made the FDA king. It's the pharmaceutical industry. That's right. We haven't had a free medical market since the early 1900s, and it's literally killing us. And it always boggles my imagination when I, when I just think this through. Because, you know, if Congress passed a law today mm -hmm. that said Budweiser, Anheuser-Busch, is the only company in the United States that can sell beer, <laughs> there would be... a. Uh, uh, that, that would not go over well. If they passed a law that said Ford Motor Company is the only company that can manufacture automobiles in the United States, everybody else is out, people would be in an uproar. Absolutely. Because everybody understands monopoly is not good, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. But wait a minute. In the medical industry, it's perfectly fine. Right. So we bend over and take it. And uh, push is coming to shove, man. People are finally starting to snap out of it and uh -huh. wake up. Uh -huh and actively seek out alternatives. It's um, truly an awakening. It truly is an awakening. Yeah. Well, hallelujah. Yeah. And pass the hat, quite frankly. <laughs> right. So let's talk about heart health, Pete. Well, so life is a great big bowl of stress. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> There's bacterial stress, microbial stress, mm -hmm. aging, mm -hmm. crap in the air, crap in the water, crap in the food, mm -hmm. emotional stress. Mm -hmm. Financial stress, mm -hmm. political stress, mm -hmm. weather, aging, right? Life is a great big bowl of stress. And when stress impacts the human body, mm -hmm. there's only two possible outcomes. The body will defend it. 
Let me grow my balloons. Wow. Look at the that. body will defend it and the stress bounces off and nothing happens. It's like balloons. Air. Like balloons. That's right. Yeah. Our body is fighting stuff off right now, right? We're not even aware of. Which is why people who are immunocompromised get sick and die because they can't fight the stuff off that, that we don't even think about. Right. But every once in a while, the body is stressed by something that's too much for it. And when that happens, the stress impacts the system, metaphorically destabilizes the system, and the system compensates and generates a symptom. Right. Or two or three. Uh -huh. So in the case of the flu, or, you know, the seasonal head cold. You get a sore throat, you get runny eyes, you get runny nose, maybe you get a fever, you get muscle aches. These are the active symptoms of being destabilized. Then the self-regulating mechanisms of the body kick in. The body reestablishes balance. And as, when that happens, the symptoms disappear. So seven days later, you're over it. You, know, you cut your finger, heals. You're right. over it. Right? Right. So... The body knows how to fix itself, how to reestablish balance. And it's trying to do that all the time, but the body needs help to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, this begs the question, well, why do people go to a medical professional? Because sometimes you'll get stressed by something. Mm -hmm. It can be a million different things. You're destabilized. Yep. You become symptomatic. Yep. But then you get stuck. Yeah. The body can't fix it needs help now allopathic medical doctors are trained to deliver drugs that suppress the symptom yep get an antibiotic an antidepressant an antihypertensive whatever it is right an mao inhibitor or whatever it is it's an oppositionally defiant system of medicine and remember the symptom in this metaphor is what the body is doing in order to deal with the destabilization mm-hmm so if you suppress the symptom long enough, what's going to happen? The body's going to fall further off balance right. and generate another symptom somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Or the drug that you were given for, in this case, let's say hypertension, it works for 18 months and then it stops working. Why does that happen? Well, because of symptom suppression, symptom suppression, symptom suppression, and also the action of the drug is burning through your nutrient reserves, uh -huh. which is what the metabolism of the body runs on. Mm -hmm. So the drug stops working, so the, the dose needs to be increased. Or wait a minute, a second blood pressure medicine, or wait a minute, a third blood pressure medicine needs to be added <laughs> into the bargain. There go the balloons. And this is what passes for, you know, the best medicine in the world, and it's nonsense. Right. Now, you know, I just, Monday, Today is what, Wednesday? On Monday, I went to the dentist, and I thought I had a simple cavity, but they actually, the tooth was cracked. Oh. Because I had a really old filling given to me by a knucklehead dentist, you know, when I was a teenager. I didn't really know anything back then. Uh -huh. Anyway, the tooth split, <coughs> oh. and it, the tooth needed to be extracted. And let me tell you something, Dave. Thank God for Novocaine. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So there are times when pharmaceutical medicine, allopathic medicine, the surgical intervention is the best thing in, since sliced bread. No kidding. This isn't a diatribe against drugs. And thank God for you know, insulin. Yeah. What this is a diatribe against is a medical monopoly that only offers one system of medicine yeah. to everybody. And that system of medicine in the case of a chronic illness, mm -hmm. not, you know, an acute thing, you know, like a broken leg or your bad tooth, right. it suppresses symptoms and makes the body weaker, mm -hmm. more dependent to drugs over time. And so people get sicker and weaker and sicker and weaker, and then they go bankrupt and then they die. Right. And then their loved ones are so enrolled by the socialization mm -hmm. that instead of criticizing the medical profession, under whose tutelage and care their loved ones got sick and died, instead of criticizing that, hey, yeah, wait a minute. Right. I was giving you knuckleheads a small fortune yeah. in medical insurance premium, and while I was under your care, I, I, they got sick. 
Yeah. And then your treatments didn't fix it. And then your treatments bankrupted them. And then they died. Right. So what do they do? They organize a 5K run, raise $25,000 and give it to the hospital under whose care their loved one got sick and died. And it's this can I'm telling you, this can only happen inside of a monopoly. Yeah. You know, which we saw writ in large letters during COVID. Right. Absolute power corrupts, absolutely. So, I digress. Right? So, holistic physicians, I don't care what the discipline is. I don't care if it's naturopathy or homeopathy or botanical medicine or acupuncture or chiropractic, whatever the hell it is. Mm-hmm. The, the intention is to deliver a therapeutic that doesn't really pay any attention to the symptom itself, but which attempts to push the system back into a state of balance. Uh-huh. Because when the system recovers balance, the symptoms, symptoms go away. Yeah, they, they go away. Yeah. So when it comes to heart health, there are things that we can do to strengthen the system. Mm hmm. So that it's much harder to knock it off balance mm-hmm. in the first place. You mm-hmm. need a much bigger stress to do that. And if we are symptomatic with a cardiovascular related event, there's specific things that we can take that attempt to push the system back into a state of balance, cardiovascularly speaking. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that's only an idiot would think that that's a bad idea. Right. Right. I mean, if if I snuck up behind, you know, the rock. Right. And tried to push him over. Yeah. Or I snuck up between a 98 pound weakling. Mm -hmm. Right. And tried to push him over. I'd probably be able to push the weakling over, but not the rock. Right. Because he's much stronger. What's the same with the human body? We have to strengthen the body internally. Mm hmm especially when we are in extracurricular high stress times right which we are in now right right yeah all right so now this isn't rocket science which is a good thing because the fundamental tenet here is well the human body knows how to fix itself the human right. body wants to fix itself the human body's trying to fix itself so i don't need to do $2,500 of diagnostic discovery to fine tune exactly what nutrients I'm going to give uh-huh. because that's just silly. We just give the body the lion's share of everything that it needs in doses it can absorb, uh-huh. doses which are dependent on your body weight because uh-huh. somebody who's 80 pounds is going to need significantly less than somebody who's 280 pounds. Right. And let the body figure it out. Uh, so this opens the door to generic self-help health recovery strategies, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody that goes outside to shovel their driveway in sub-zero weather would benefit from wearing gloves, a skirt, and a hat. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Mm-hmm. No exceptions. It's the same here. There's things that everybody can do and should do to strengthen their system during times of stress. Mm -hmm. And that's, I mean, that's what my profession literally wrote the book on. Mm -hmm. Right. (laughs) So so what do we do? Well, it's simple. We make it simple. Now, and, and here's another interesting twist of the knife of ironic hegemony fueled by monopolization of the medical market and believe it or not in the united states of america the only thing that can legally treat a disease is a drug Mm. which is why when you go to the health food store it doesn't say uh enlarged left ventricle support right atrial fibrillation support hypertension support rheumatoid arthritis support type 2 diabetes fix right Mm. you can't say that because you cannot relate the use 
of a non-drug, like right. a vitamin or a mineral or a botanical medicine, Joy. to the treatment of a disease, because uh -huh. that's illegal. Right. And the FTC, <clears throat> if they want to, will hammer you yeah. if they feel so inclined. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a big problem. And if most people are completely unaware of this yep. little it's true. distinction. That's right? true. Mm -hmm. So what we have is a healthy heart pack. Right. right. We have a combination of nutrients, which we believe through research and clinical verification are significantly helpful in strengthening your cardiovascular system. Okay. Remember, because we can't treat disease. No. With nutritional supplements. No. And as, as a naturopathic doctor working in a state that I'm licensed in, I can say that I'm treating a disease yeah. because it's in my scope of practice. Right. But Joe Schmo from Idaho, <laughs> who's making money from the sale of a nutritional supplement, can't say that. The nutritional supplement company can't say that, even if it's true. Mm -hmm. Even if there's 500 peer-reviewed published journal articles that say selenium is an extremely effective treatment for cardiomyopathy. You can't say that in the public forum because it's illegal. Right. So it's a crap show from start to finish. And so this is the recommendation. It's, we make it simple. So in order to strengthen your cardiovascular system, mm -hmm. get and take the healthy heart pack. And the components of the healthy heart card pack. Uh, Plant-derived minerals, mm -hmm. omega-3 essential fatty acids, mm -hmm. liquid calcium and phosphorus and mineral supplement, and a multivitamin supplement, multimineral antioxidant, and a whole bunch of other things, pre and probiotics. The combination of four supplements called the Healthy Heart Pack. Plus selenium, which is to the heart like calcium is to the bones. Mm -hmm. And you know who figured that out, which is again from the Department of Irony, is the pre World War II Germany. Mm -hmm. With their when, athletes in there. Huh? Yeah. When Hitler was trying to, you know, develop the master race, yeah. they did all kinds of testing and experimentation with their athletes yeah and they just they discovered that a lot of the time their athletes would get enlarged hearts they called it athlete's heart it uh -huh. was such a common thing and well why is that well it's because the athlete's metabolism was through the roof and they were burning through their nutrient reserves five times faster than the average person on the street and they burned right through selenium really quickly mm -hmm which is a mineral. The body can't make it. Animals can't make it. Plants mm -hmm. can't make it. Mm -hmm. The only way selenium or calcium or any of the other minerals gets into the body is if it's in the soil where the plants are growing. And guess what? It's not no. in most parts of Germany. So the Germans figured out cardiomyopathy and enlarged heart, whether it was an athlete or somebody else, was a selenium deficiency, simple selenium deficiency. Mm -hmm. So they started giving their athletes sodium selenite and bada bing, bada boom, the heart came back to normal. And well, that's so cool. It's like, wow. Well, why hasn't that leaked into the mainstream? Huh. Well, I'll tell you why. Because the patient cured is a customer loss. Yeah. It's all about the This ball. brought to you by, you know, the medical monopoly. Mm -hmm. with it has us by the balls mm -hmm. for over 100 years. <laughs> so, so. It's the foundation pack, right? Uh huh. With selenium and the uh, good herbs heart support. Good Which herbs is... heart support. What's in the good herb herbs heart support? Yeah, there's four, I think, different botanical medicines. Four different botanical medicines, all of which have a positive action on different aspects of the heart. Uh huh. Some help the heart to regulate its heartbeat. Some help the heart muscle itself. Uh huh. Some help the blood vessels that feed the heart, uh -huh. right? And it's a kind of like a general all-around heart tonic, which is why it's called, um, I think it's called the Healthy Heart and the Good Herbs Heart Support, heart uh -huh. support, because that's what it does. Yeah. It supports your heart. 
I mean, you wear warm clothes, you go out into the wintertime because you're supporting this. This is really pretty easy stuff. Yep. Once you wrap your head around the proper perspective, you got to pick your head up. You got to pop out of the monopoly matrix. Right. You just have. It's the key. Once you've popped out of the monopoly matrix and take a look around, it's all just freaking common sense. And you think to yourself, why wasn't I taught this in high school? <laughs> huh. Really? Yeah. I mean, people look at me all the time. Oh, Dr. Glidden, you're so smart. And I'm saying, I'm not really that smart. I mean, I'm a smart guy, but this stuff that my profession knows is common sense. Mm -hmm. It seems smart to you because it's not in your gestalt. It's not in the mainstream that you grew up in. That's right. But it's not like rocket science. Yeah. And, you know, the proof of the, the, proof of the pudding here is the, the effectiveness. And I keep saying this because it's true. It's the only reason my profession is still alive. It's because more often than not, we succeed. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to put a, it's hard to suppress that. I mean, when I graduated in 1991, I think there were five states that licensed naturopathic medicine. Now there's 24. So that's improvement. Mm -hmm. But again, that begs the question, well, why not the other 26? Why, right. Why not 50? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, this brought to you by the Department of Irony Department. In Tennessee and Florida, it's a felony oh, to God. practice naturopathic medicine. Well, the medical lobbyists are the biggest there. There you go. Folks, the products that we discussed, <clears throat> a foundation pack, the Good Herbs Hearthy, Heart, Heart Health Pack, uh, a medication or uh, botanical medicine, uh, selenium is all available in OperationFreedomHealth.com, plus information on all those items. And we also have a free video there produced by Dr. Glidden, The 12 Bad Foods to Avoid, as again, part of your foundation for overall health. <coughs> Pete, <coughs> educate our listeners on your websites, DrGlidden.com and, and uh, your latest, LeadBigPharmaBehind.com. So all URLs over the years, I mean, I've had probably eight or nine different URLs, right? Mm -hmm. Different iterations of my website. So whatever, you can type in drglidden.com. You can type in riseupintohealth.com. You can type in glidden.healthcare. And it all goes now to leavebigpharmabehind.com. Great. Which is the best website in the world, best website ever created by any human being anywhere, ever, anytime, period, end of discussion. Boom. Except perhaps Operation Freedom Health. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that's very nice. I've got it's, you know, it's like um, all the information in my books, which is static, right? Because it's in the book. Right. Is not static. It's com updated all the time on the website and it offers the enlightened mm -hmm. health recovery strategies. Yep. For, you know, $24 a month, you gotta be kidding me. And if you become a subscriber, yearly subscriber, it's $219 a month, which is nuts, uh, a year. I mean, I'm giving it away and I want to because people need to know this. Yeah, they do. And so that's one of my strengths is being able to explain things to people so that they can understand it easy. Because, again, we've all been hoodwinked into thinking that medicine is complicated. Right. I tell you what, surgery is complicated. Can be. But healing the body, it's not. No, it's not. You just got to give the body what it needs, get the hell out of the way, and keep your fingers crossed. Dr. Peter Glidden, I'd like to thank you. For everything you have done, are doing, and will do. And I'd like to thank you folks for joining us. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Join us at OperationFreedomHealth.com and Dr. Glidden's site, leavebigpharmabehind.com. Leave Thanks for your time today.